get ready for another installment of story time with me, Sav. This story starts around 2007, and the years around it. At the time I was studying 3D again, and really not having a whole lot of free time for video games, I'd been paying attention to video game announcements and releases, but again, not really playing them. At this point in time, the transition from 6th to 7th generation consoles was well underway. This generation was like no other before it. Games actually looked good. The rendering was nuts compared to the PS2 era. Characters were more than just polygonal. They had normal mapping applied. One of the more interesting games in development was Assassin's Creed. This was the debut of Jade Raymond and the series as a whole. The entire overpromise and underdeliver game development cycle wasn't as apparent in 2008 as it is now. So everything mentioned uh, had a huge amount of excitement around it. I remember watching gameplay of Assassin's Creed and losing it to how smooth the character's animation was. It really just wasn't seen before. This was the first game to me where NPCs actually looked different from one another. Later, when I finally got around to playing Assassin's Creed, I realized that it was pretty much the same three mission types recycled for 30 odd hours. And um, you know what? I enjoyed the hell out of it. All right, as for GTA, sure, I played Vice City and San Andreas, but visually those games weren't, you know, visual powerhouses and came across as gimmicky. I wasn't the GTA fanboy I am now back then. This console transition was showing off games like Killzone 2 and Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. And um, yeah, just looking at Rockstar, they had some serious work to do. And then in 2007, this trailer drops. You can hear it in the audio of the trailer. This was big. This was a major shift in thematic tone compared to what was seen previously. This was one of those landmark moments for me and video games where this transition to the modern era of GTA would set the tone for the entire company going forward. Rockstar in some parallel universe could have gone the Saints Row route, producing small incremental gameplay and technical technological steps towards something modern. But you know, they did the research and threw everything they had at GTA 4. To unpack that a little more, Rockstar needed to retool. They knew that GTA 4 would be a big departure from their previous titles, so they made a table tennis game. Yep, a table tennis game. And one in true Rockstar quality. This would demonstrate, amongst other things, their latest iteration of their engine and a foray into various advancements to lighting, animation, and physics. Two years later, GTA 4 would be released into the world. Here's a quote from Wikipedia. GTA 4 broke industry sales records and became the fastest selling entertainment product in history at the time, earning US $310 million in its first day and US $500 million in its first week, considered one of the most significant titles of the seventh generation of video games. When GTA 4 came out here in New Zealand, I went to a midnight launch and played for as long as I could. It was, it was glorious. <laughs> the execution of the open world, the atmosphere, the animations, it was incredible to see in real time. GTA 4 saw the debut of Euphoria by uh, Natural Motion and this was something very few large games were showing off at the time. The only other game showing off a Euphoria demo was um, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Sure, GTA 4 had some problems, but it did everything it set out to do. It cemented the franchise in the modern gaming era with no compromises. It reimagined Liberty City and matched, if not topped, the fidelity of other games of its time. And really, it's just a solid product. This put Rockstar on my radar for sure. The studio demonstrated what the hardware at the time was capable of and were the benchmark for games technologically going forward. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, really just my thoughts on, on on that little portion of history, of gaming history. Yeah, I know it's a pivot from the epic Unreal content I've been putting out, but I really wanted to make way for some different future content. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See ya.